Welcome to my non-spoiler review of Terminator Dark Fate. Now, I don't normally do this, so um, if you want to just go straight to the spoilers, right here. I've released both of these videos at exactly the same time, and both videos have links to each other. Now, first things first, just like I did with the spoiler video, is basically, you know, can I recommend this film? Is this good? Should I go and watch it? Um... I, look, I'm going to say something somewhat different to what I did in the spoiler review, is that this film is absolutely made for a brand new generation, and if you haven't really seen T1 and T2 and you don't really care that much about what has come before it, then yeah, go and watch it. This movie is probably going to be great for you. However, conversely to that, if you're a fan of the Terminator franchise, you don't really need to see this film because you've already seen it. Terminator 1 and Terminator 2 is this film, but it's better. Those films are better. Uh, this is just a remake of Terminator 1 and Terminator 2, but not done anywhere near to that standard. Um, so when we talk about this film being worthwhile watching, no, not really. Uh, it's not, sadly. So let's uh, let's get into like the good um, and the bad, right? So again, all fully non-spoilers for this. The good, Linda Hamilton is fantastic in this. Mackenzie Davis, Grace, is fantastic in this. The other female lead, Natalia Reyes, is not. So that's the bad. Now the other good, Terminator T-800 Model 101, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, is fantastic in this. He is very, very good. Um, Diego Luna... I think his name is, or Gabriel Luna. Let me have a look. Uh, it is Gabriel Luna. Sorry, it's uh, Diego Bonita is Danny's brother. So that's where I got those names from. Gabriel Luna is fine in this. Again, so like I say, you've seen this film before. And Robert Patrick was a better Gabriel Luna than Gabriel Luna is a Robert Patrick. Okay. Um, basically, he's fine. But he doesn't really do an awful lot. Um, it's an interesting concept, but I don't think they use it quite to the effect that they could have done and should have done. Uh, Diego Bonita is fine. He's, yeah, he's, he's not in it enough for us to really uh, get involved in, in him as an actor. The score is good. The score is good. The action set pieces are good. And that's kind of it, really. That's where the good ends. Um... And this is where I have to come into it with most of the negatives. So the story is bad because it's just a rehash of Terminator 1 and Terminator 2. But it's not done with nearly as much finesse. Um, a lot of people have said that this film is necessary to push the story further. It, lead, it literally ends exactly the same or, or we, in exactly the same place as Terminator 2. We've not progressed anywhere. So those people that are saying that, I strongly disagree. I strongly disagree. And I urge you to take a, a long, hard look at this film. Because we don't progress anywhere. Um, the only progression is a, is a character swap. Or an archetype swap. So, the story is, is fine. But it's been done better. Um, this film is such a shame by uh, its use or non-use of practical effects. Now, the Terminator franchise is highly regarded, highly renowned for incredible, groundbreaking effects, both in CGI and in practical. Now, it's, it's, no, it's, it's no wonder that people then hold this film to the standard of previous films, previous Terminator films. I feel like that is warranted if you're going to be comparing it to anything. You would be comparing it to what has come before it. I don't think that's unfair. Uh, and the CGI is not groundbreaking. And there is no practical in this film. I don't think there was any practical Terminators in this. Which is a huge shame. A huge, huge shame. Uh, and a really missed opportunity as well, Tim Miller. A hugely missed opportunity. The dialogue is also very janky in parts. Um... And again, you know, to go back to the good, I'm going to be kind of compliment sandwiching it back and forth on this one, is that Linda Hamilton is very, very good in this. The only way I can say that this story is good is that it progresses Linda Hamilton's character 
partially. So, the opening of the film, I'm not going to spoil it for anyone. Uh, you can just go look at the you go look at that video I linked if you really want to know the, the opening of the film. I'd say it right there. Um, is what renders the entire film pointless. And also, it's what gives Linda Hamilton character progression. But by the end of the film, if you've seen it, you'll know what I'm talking about. She's basically in a Kyle Reese character place. Um, and she's not really progressed anywhere. So I don't really understand what, like, how we've progressed this story along. Now, like I say, this film has the literal archetypes from Terminator 1 and Terminator 2. Carl Reese, uh, or the Terminator character, both of them are in this. We've got Grace Mackenzie Davis as the Carl Reese character. And we even have a friendly uh, T-800. It's no surprise, it's in the trailers, it's not a spoiler. But those are the protector characters. And they need to protect Danny Ramos, Natalia Reyes, for whatever reason... Um, you only have to look at, you know, the rest of the films to know for whatever reason. Like I say, the start of this film, I think, will be an incredibly bitter pill to swallow for anyone that has watched and is remotely invested in any of the films. Um, and if you think about this film too hard, you will not like it. Because it doesn't achieve anything. It doesn't progress a story anywhere. Uh, it is just a rehash of Terminator 1 and Terminator 2. The action is fine. I mean, if you're wowed by action and you want just dumb, fun action from your Terminator films, then you will like this. You will like it. Absolutely. Uh, no issue with that at all. There is a threat in the future called Legion. It's part of the trailers. It's not a spoiler. Um, and there's some very illogical points there uh, in that creation of Legion. Terminators are still called Terminators. There's Hunter Killers. HKs flying around. Why are they called those things when something happened and Legion rose to power rather than Skynet? Again, it, do you see, it starts to fall apart. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is Passing of the Torch. This is Terminator 1 and Terminator 2 Light. It is for a brand new generation. It is not for me. It's probably not for you as a Terminator fan. Um, it is solely for a new generation. Those Terminator fans that say that this has progressed a story anywhere, I hugely disagree. I would love to know how you justify that it's gone anywhere at all. Um, we are in exactly the same place as we were at the end of Terminator 2, minus a few characters and a swapping of agenda here and there. So, yeah, there's not much else I can say really. To round it out, like Tim Miller is probably a bit of a one-hit wonder. He'd have to do another film, really, to convince me that he is any good. There's some weird lighting in this film as well. Sound design's fine. And again, like, the sound mixing's fine. The soundtrack is fine. But there's nothing that wows me, you know? there's This is a T1 and T2 remake, but there is no finesse from T1 and T2. There is nothing fully to engage me in it outside of what I've already seen. Uh, I just feel like I have just watched a rehash of Terminator 1 and Terminator 2, which I have. Admittedly, I, I just have. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be very surprised to see how this one develops and how this one progresses amongst you, the audience. So I'd love to hear your thoughts, though. What do you think? Are you a Terminator fan, first and foremost? That's one question I would love to know. And then let me know your thoughts on the film, because I want to know whether you're a, a long-time Terminator fan, then subsequently what you thought as a result of that being your background, and then whether you feel like this is made just for a new generation or not, and whether you really felt like this has progressed anywhere. Like I say at the start, I did link my uh, spoiler review, so if you want full spoilers, please do go and check that out. I can't wholeheartedly recommend this film. I can if you've not really watched the other films and you're not really invested in it. Um, but that being said, it's it's not really a worthy entry anywhere because it's just Terminator 1, Terminator 2, light. Um, a lot of people compared it to The Force Awakens. I would say it's a worse Force Awakens than The Force Awakens. It's The Force Awakens crossed with The Last Jedi. So that should give you some inclination of whether you would like this film or not. Um, there's not massive female empowerment stuff in this film, for those that will probably ask. Uh, the female characters are absolutely fantastic. They are really, really good. Hats off to them. They did a great job. Uh, Mackenzie Davis, I'd love to see her in more stuff. She's fab. 
She's really, really cool. So anyway, leave your thoughts down below. If you're new here, do hit subscribe. You can stay up to date on the world of pop culture and movie news by hitting the bell notification icon. As always, if you want to support the channel further, Patreon link down below, merch, all that good stuff. Uh, but also just give this video a like and a share. I've missed age. Take care.